Ready when you are, Connie. Here I come. Ta-da! How do I look? Ah, oh, you look like you stepped out of first century Bethlehem. <laughs> well, it feels like I'm wearing an oversized bathrobe. <laughs> do you really think Mary looked like this? Oh, she probably wore a tunic and headdress, yes, but I don't think she had on makeup. Oh. She was close to your age, you know. Really? Why don't you take your place in the display? There to the right of the manger? Uh, where's our Joseph? Eugene! I'll be there momentarily, Mr. Whitaker. I was just uh, having uh, trouble attempting to tie my sandals. Oh, uh, do you need help? <laughs> the IQ of a planet, and he can't even tie his own sandals. I'll ignore that. Do I look appropriate to the occasion? You might want to get rid of your glasses. Huh? Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm about 13 centuries ahead of my time. <laughs> uh, better? Uh, better. Uh, why don't you kneel to the left of the manger, and I'll get the camera set up. You look pretty silly, Eugene. Thank you. I'm glad we're doing this after we close the shop. I'd be embarrassed if anybody saw us in these outfits. Well, it was normal dress 2,000 years ago. All right, smile, you two. There, that's the first picture. When you finish the wax figures for this display, will they look like us? Oh, I hope not. I don't have a beard. You couldn't even grow a beard, Eugene. Oh, is having a beard an indication of something significant, Connie? Well, I'm sure it was in the first century. And in the first century, you wouldn't be allowed to speak to me so rudely. Huh? Women were required to respect men, speaking only when spoken to. Isn't that correct, Mr. Whitaker? Yeah, uh, don't move, please. But I'm playing Mary, and Mary was special, Eugene. She wasn't like all the other women. Really? I suppose you think she had a halo around her head, as she has in the paintings. Well, she might have. And she gave birth to Jesus in a beautiful manger without the pain of labor, among clean animals. And the babe in swaddling cloths never cried, as in the Christmas songs. Well, why not? <laughs> oh, Miss Kendall. <laughs> uh, say Roman census. Roman, Roman census. census. What? Why are you laughing at me? It could have happened that way. Oh. Oh, of course it could, but it probably didn't. Wait, will you set Eugene straight before he gets hit in the head with a manger? Now, now you can relax, then. Uh, those are all the pictures I need. What? Uh, Mr. Whitaker, we're men of history. Surely you don't believe all of those Christmas songs and paintings. I believe in the Bible and what it says about the birth of Jesus. But what Eugene says is true, Connie. Hmm. A lot of what we think happened is pure speculation. See? Fooey. However, I will say that in my mind, the story of the birth of Christ is probably far more involved and exciting than even the songs tell. Hmm. I believe we're working up to a John Avery Whitaker story. Oh, good. Sorry, I don't have a story to tell, but hmm. if you want to step over to the imagination station, you may wind up with stories of your own. You're certainly dressed for it. Yeah.